More than 1,600 people in Colorado died of drug overdoses last year. Nearly half, 803, died from fentanyl. Many people fighting the war against drugs say a Colorado law makes it easy for dealers to get away with carrying enough fentanyl to kill thousands of people. Our political specialist, Sean Boyd, takes a closer look at this very difficult problem. In 2019, Denver recorded about 200 drug overdose deaths. Last year, that number more than doubled. And police chief Paul Payson says state lawmakers bear some responsibility after making possession of lethal doses of fentanyl a misdemeanor. The idea being to treat instead of jail addicts. The effort was to try to help people. The effect is that people are dying. And he says the law makes it difficult to hold killers responsible. Dealers, he says, purposefully carry just under four grams to avoid felony charges. And because fentanyl is often mixed with other drugs, Boulder District Attorney Michael Doherty says proving a dealer knew what they were selling is difficult. Tracing the Xanax upstream to figure out who's responsible for that death is incredibly important, but also resource intensive. So we need more resources for law enforcement. We need those resources now. Arrests, prosecution, and incarceration do not save lives. Tristan Gorman with the Criminal Defense Bar says most dealers are addicts and they don't respond to a war on drugs. You increase the penalties on fentanyl, you're actually increasing the penalties on any drug containing any amount of fentanyl, whether the user knows that it's in there or not. So we need to be funding harm reduction, prevention, treatment. Doherty agrees more treatment is needed, but he says so too is more accountability. But we have to acknowledge that small amounts of fentanyl are killing people. And we have to account for that in the laws and the penalties that we have. And under the current law, Payson says there's no incentive for treatment. Uh, you need some form of leverage, some form of consequence in order to get people the help that they need. Lawmakers plan to bring a bill to increase funding for overdose investigations and a public awareness campaign. Speaker Alec Garnett told me he also is looking into bringing legislation to increase penalties. Although representatives Leslie Harrod and Shane Sandridge, sponsors of the 2019 law, say they stand behind it. They say the law doesn't stop DAs from prosecuting dealers, only users. But Doherty, who is prosecuting a dealer for manslaughter, says he could get probation. He says stiffer penalties are also needed. At the Capitol, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first.